Um, this is Gadget. I'm doing the 10 day detox. I'm going crazy trying to keep this camera still. Uh, good morning, West Hawk 1979. Um, I was supposed to start this last Sunday, and it's not. I can't say it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's one of those detoxes where you're like, there's a series of steps. Um, for example, you're supposed to measure yourself first thing in the morning. Um, they have PGX. You take this before you have your uh, first drink. You also have a series of uh, what you might call it, vitamins you have to take. They also suggest, it's not mandatory, to take your blood sugar. And I got this from Contour Next. And you uh, take it right before you eat and two hours before, right after you eat. Um, because of uh, the PGX, it might make you constipated. So they suggest you drink at least eight glasses of water. I'm actually going to challenge myself and do two bottles of these. This is electrolyte water. It's from Trader Joe's. They're about 150 a bottle and two bottles is a hundred ounces of water. So I'm doing this thing also called 66 days to change. I'm on day six and I thought I would choose two things that I really suffer with. Um, I don't sleep at all. My Fitbit is telling me I average like, I think it's like three to four hours of sleep, which is insanely bad. And I also don't drink enough water. So my goal is to lose close to 60 pounds. And even though I was on the Nutribullet for almost, I think, two years, maybe even three, um, I recently gained a lot of weight, just fell off the wagon, hit my head. And I remember this Dr. Imes um, 10 day detox was, it wasn't easy, but it was easy once you got into the rhythm of it. And I lost a lot of weight. Not, I would say kind of fast. I remember, I think I lost like seven pounds in 10 days. So I have the Kindle version. How you doing, Cara? Uh, Cara? I think I said that word, Carlson. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it. Uh, I made a couple of notes of what the 10 day detox of things to avoid. Um, no packaged food, which I love to death, even though it's Trader Joe's, it's still packaged food. Avoid sugar in any form that includes honey, agave, Splenda, everything. No sugar. Hydrogenated oils, um, artificial sweeteners. Uh, gluten products, which means no breads, pastas, bagels, pretty much all the things that I love in life, all grains and all dairy. So I have um, this uh, Origins Almond Milk. It's really good. It's really expensive, but it's really good. It's got 10 grams of protein. That's going to be in my drinks. And then at night, you're supposed to take a detox bath. Or if it's white. It's not right to eat. Yes, you're right, Karen. Karen, uh, Carol, Carlson wrote, if it's not right, it's not right to eat. That's true, but it's really good. <laughs> um, let's see. You also have a detox bath. You have to take that for 30 minutes, uh, which consists of Epsom salt, two cups, baking soda, a cup and a half, and pure lavender oil. I don't know if I have pure lavender oil. Carl. Thank you, Carl. I suck at this. <laughs> and um, the supplements are pricey. I had to get a lot of stuff from Amazon.com. And to be honest, I didn't get everything. Um, you, they suggest a multivitamin, fish oil, vitamin D, zinc, blah, 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 blah. It's a lot. Of course, it doesn't show. show. But if you guys are on my Facebook or my YouTube, Green is the New Lean, I will have a full review. Um, it does work. I must admit, this one works. And I know it's Halloween, and a lot of people are celebrating and eating candy and stuff. But to be honest, I don't celebrate Halloween. Which is ironic, because I love to dress up. And um, I just it's something my parents ingrained in my head. 
and it pretty much stuck about Halloween. So it's as much as I like to dress up, I'm just going to stay home. I'm waiting for someone to wake up so I could do the rest of my stuff, my measurements. I think for now I'm just gonna um do a 30 minute walk with my whoops. Yes, I'm from New York. Where are you from, Carl? If I can ask. <laughs> So I'm going to be walking with uh, Bed-Stuy. Brooklyn is doing its thing. I go to Brooklyn a lot now because all the hot everything's in Brooklyn. Um, I'm like born and raised in the Bronx and Harlem. So, yeah. So I'm doing my walk with these hand weights. I, I forget the weight I think it's less than a pound and then later on tonight I'll be doing dance central I'll probably do dance central on periscope um I don't have the best rhythm I think uh I break that stereotype that all black people can dance I'm all right I'm decent <laughs> but that's today my Fitbit is not on because it actually broke the other day so I actually have to take care of that real quick and then I'm going to do the shake. So basically, my breakfast is going to be super late, which the book says not to do. But, you know, things happen. That's life. I probably just won't have a snack. So as soon as I know I'm not rich, my God, am I not? Oh, my goodness. I think I pick and choose my battles. Like, I don't go to parties anymore. I don't club anymore. I don't eat out anymore. Um, I don't get my hair done at those high-end salons anymore. <laughs> what else? I, I cut out a lot. All that stuff. Yeah, I, I pretty much shop at Old Navy. I used to shop at Bloomingdale's. Oh, my goodness. I cut a lot of corners to get Fitbits. And honestly, um, I'm hoping the store will just exchange it. Because if they don't, then I have to send it back to Fitbit and then buy one in the meantime and it's just it, it gets cuckoo but i'm not rich i would like to be rich though that's my goal to be financially rich i'm rich with love <laughs> but i'm not rich with money so and i get a lot of stuff on amazon amazon is the go-to either amazon or trader joe's like that's where i live that's like it, for example this water at whole foods is like two dollars Google all those supplements and vitamins. Carl wrote, Google all those supplements and vitamins. Yeah, I did. And they're expensive. The reason why Dr. Imes is suggesting all these supplements is to help with blood sugar levels. So even though I'm not diabetic, um, I thought I would try to come as close to the program as possible. I didn't get everything because I was like, oh my God, this stuff is expensive. And I'm not rich. So I was saying like the water, the electrolyte water usually goes for about 2 to $3 if you go to Whole Foods and stuff. If you get this from Trader Joe's, it's one fifty. And it's little shortcuts like that that makes a big difference. And I also shop in season. So I only get fruits and vegetables that are in season. It's a significant, significant um, cost uh, reduction. And that's pretty much it. Like, those are my little tips on how I try to be organic on a budget. And then there's also a book on Kindle that I just... If you if you go to my Facebook page, Green is the New Lean, I actually found an organic book that was free, like how to eat on a budget. So it's it should be like in the first couple of feeds because I just posted it like the other day. So I have to work out and then I might be back for Dan Central. If you guys want to see a uh, uncoordinated girl.